Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for February, 2024. It is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we are gonna get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on this month. And then we will take a look at you and your person and singles and get some Oracle cards for you. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, so I'm gonna get things settled here. I like balance. Let's see what's going on for you. All right, so let's look at your overall energy. We have the Hermit in reverse. So some of you are finally coming out of your shell. I say that like you have one, but for some of you, you've been doing so much inner work and so much inner reflection that February is going to be like a month where things open back up. So if you've been feeling very withdrawn, I think you're going to want to put yourself out there a little bit more. Let's see what we get in your current energy. Yeah. Okay. So energy is starting to move now. It's like, there's no avoiding this. Things are going to start picking up and no doubt if you've been feeling like you've been held back or sitting still, this is quick moving. Like if you're looking for answers, if you've just been feeling a little bit run down, things no doubt are going to pick up. And then we have the five of cups. So some of you that have been dealing with some deep emotions around some painful things, I think you're going to be moving through that energy a lot quicker it's just a matter of basically turning your head and realizing that there is absolutely another path in another direction. It's like this unavoidable shift in energy. And then we have the two of pentacles. So there is no more going back and forth. And I understand we all go through times when we ponder things, especially our deep emotions, but I feel like you're really pushing through them because you've done so much inner reflecting. Let's keep moving. The Two of Cups, this is great energy in the near future. So you could be meeting somebody new. These are people being invited into your energy, and this is going to happen pretty quickly, that are going to see more of who you really are. It's like for a long time, I feel like you hadn't felt seen, and now you're going to. People are really going to understand you better, and you could form a lot of really good friendships and possibly even meet someone who has started out as a friend, excuse me, and it becomes a romantic interest. That's because you've done a lot of healing. So whatever was bringing you down or where there was sadness before, this tells me that I just heard you might be afraid of being hurt, but aren't we all when we've had trauma in our lives and difficult things in our relationships, but there's a lot of support around your healing and it's the people that are going to be coming into your life this month that are going to shift that as well as you just healing in general. All right, so we have the Four of Cups. Yeah, remember I said there might be a little bit of fear and you may have to take things a little slower than you have in the past because you have been through so much. But I feel like this is a good month for you to start trusting again. All right, so what you don't see coming, the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are gonna be really, really focused on work and money and finances. And if this has been something that has not seemed to work out for you, this is gonna be the month when it will. No doubt, you're going to feel busy. Some, I mean, all of us, well, some people do and don't have jobs. It just depends on where you are. But if you've not been having luck and finding what you wanted, this is when I feel like you're going to find it because this is the time that it needed to come in. For others of you, you're just going to be focused and probably working harder than you have in the past. Maybe you just didn't have the energy and now because things start picking up and get going, you're going to feel like really putting your energy into it. Ace of Wands, see? This is what I was saying. It's like new energy. You're going to be more focused and ambitious and fired up. And you're going to see results of that energy. As soon as you start over here in this current, as soon as you start getting fired up, it's like anything is possible at this point, especially if you want to start something new. Because whatever your passion is here, it's definitely, this is confirmation for someone. If it is your passion, it is definitely going to work out and you're going to see the benefits of that this month. All right, so what Spirit wants you to focus on, the Five of Pentacles, just leaving the stuff behind the best that you can. Any kind of hurt, pain, or things, that, people, situations that you've had to leave behind, they want you to understand that it was necessary to do so. 
And then we have the Hierophant. For some of you, you may have lost faith. And they're like, we want you to work on regaining your faith that everything is going to work out and you're going to be okay. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles because this is where you're coming to. A lot of you are just going to be focused on money, finances, and career this month, which is not a bad thing. Because if you've been through a lot of hurt and pain and emotional um, difficulty and having to go within and having to process a lot of stuff, this is when you come out of that and you finally start getting to a place where you feel like you've got a grasp on things again. So challenge the moon, seeing exactly where things are going to take you. That's usually when we feel a little bit confused. Sometimes it can feel like the energy is just not completely clear. So it may challenge you at times because you don't know exactly where things are going to go. But just know this is a good indication that you're going to have a better understanding of where things are going to go and they're just going to start working. All right, so let's go ahead and get some clarifiers for the hermit. What's important about this hermit energy? Okay, so the strength, it was to regain your strength and get your courage back up and start maybe even just facing things that you hadn't really had the energy to face. So just know that that's going to be regained this month. By August, you're going to see significant changes. The Queen of Cups, for some of you, you had to shut down, literally back away emotionally from people, things, places, and maybe not take care of everybody else. I like this because in the upright, yes, you can be the caretaker. Now it's time to take care of you and have the strength to say no to people. It's one of the first words we learn. And I always say when it comes up in a reading, it is the hardest one for us to continue to say as we grow. So learning how to say no is going to be super important. And I think you just have judgment, whatever prayers you've been praying this is a sign that, yes, your prayers are being answered. Everything has been heard. It's like a call to action is also what I'm hearing. So this is a time when you're going to be called to action. The Eight of Wands with the Five of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Sometimes we just never have the answers that we want. It's an internal resolution. And to be honest with you, I don't think you're going to have time to focus on this anymore. That's why your future energy is about healing. Because wherever there's been sadness... And even at times when you don't understand why you feel sad, sometimes we can't put our finger on it. But things are going to get you up and moving so much that you're not going to have time to constantly be going back and forth about it. The Ace of Pentacles, you may feel like something's not there. Remember I said, this is what you don't see coming. So if right now you haven't had an opportunity or you hadn't had something even on your radar come in like it's some kind of opportunity that you were hoping for, it's going to happen and what you don't see coming. So right now, if it hasn't, it's picking up. So just be prepared for that. Two of cups with the three of swords. Some of you, yes, you could have been dealing with some narcissistic personalities. Um, I always say it's important to research it, to have some understanding, to understand what it means in your spiritual journey as a whole nother conversation. They are a part of our experience. Nobody wants to experience them. They suck. But I'm sure you've probably had people like that. What you are not attracting is people who are like that. You've been hurt enough by those types of personalities. And now you're going to have people who really, again, value you and see you exactly for who you are and appreciate you. And this is you turning your back to people that don't have good intentions. See, something significant is changing in you. It's like there is no longer a certain version of of you that exists massive transformations this month eight of pentacles with the wheel of fortune we have the six of swords in reverse see i just don't think you see this coming a part of you may fear that you're not gonna feel better mentally but you will as these things start to show up i think that's just a little bit of a fear that things won't get a little clearer so if you're still feeling this way, they're saying just trust your intuition. If for some reason you're feeling like you can't, the more fired up you get and the more excited you get about something, sometimes we can not pay attention to the things that we're being warned about. Just keep your intuition on point. Make sure that you don't let things slide by you. No doubt it's going to be successful, but they want you to be aware of your surroundings as well. As things start to really happen, you may have to be cautious because 
course, people can come into our lives when things are finally going good. And I'm not saying that you're not going to have the good ones because we already discussed that. But I would just make sure that you have your little feelers up. The Five of Pentacles with the Hierophant in reverse, we have the Six of Pentacles. See, letting things go where you gave so much of yourself, you could have lost faith because you felt like, God, I, I did so much to help other people. And I just don't feel like I got what I deserved in return. And this is because you need to focus on you. This is more of a focus on the things that are important to you now, whether it be work or your finances, having the courage to push through, and just not allowing yourself to be taken advantage of. All right, so the moon, the two of cups, something definitely, ah, see, it eluded you. The challenge is trying to understand why something didn't work out or maybe even the separation of a relationship. One of the hardest parts of truly waking up is the disconnect that we have with those souls that we thought were supposed to be with us throughout our life. So for some of you, yes, this could be a challenge. You may still have a little bit of a unsettled feeling around why something came apart. All right, so we're going to get some advice and then we'll keep moving and see what's going on with you and your person. What's the advice for Aries? All right, so we have the tower. Let the things crumble that are meant to because with every tower moment that we have, something new is going to come in. And this is, it, it's explosive in a good way. With the eight of wands and that together, that's important because it's lying here and there are no accidents with these cards and the way they fall. Death and rebirth, tower moment, both Scorpio energies. Something significant is changing for you this month. Judgment, it's like you're connecting with your higher self and they want you to continue to do so and pay attention to that little voice in your head. And then the Hierophant, this is where you're, you're headed. There's a lot of joy, have faith that what you are guided to do now is gonna bring you a lot of happiness and peace in your life. And then the Wheel of Fortune, where you had misfortune in the past, that's changing. It was here in the upright. They don't want you to pay attention to the things that didn't work out because they didn't work out for a reason. And you really need to, at this point, I feel like this is what they're trying to say to you, not me telling you, is to understand that they weren't meant to work out. And as painful as that may be, it's time for you to get moving. They have me look down at the bottom of the deck with the chariot. So it's just time to move on. All right, let's take a peek quickly at either you and your person or the person that's on your mind. It's not a too in-depth, but we'll just get some basic energies. Three of Cups for your person, the King of Swords. So you may find that this person um, could be a little bit sharp or seem a little bit cold at times. The Three of Wands, they may not be somebody who's uh, really about family or uh, about coming together and deeply emotional. They may just seem a little bit stark right now. The Three of Wands, it's not that they don't, think about the future or want something to come up. I just think that they're very strong in who they are and their opinions about things. So they may come across as, a, like I said, a little sharp. Page of Pentacles in reverse for you, the Eight of Wands. So you're ready to get moving. The Four of Wands is in the upright for you. And the Six of Cups, you're not going to do like you did in the past or waste your time with people who aren't willing to put in the work. And I get that. So you may dis... Okay, well, Kitty had something to say, and he's probably going to come join us. So for you, this is about finding that person that you spend your time with, and maybe they've come out of a difficult relationship. You're ready to get things going, and you're not going to waste your time, maybe like you did giving of yourself to someone who doesn't have the same ideas about things. If they're just not ready, and this is like the third time he has come into my readings This in this group of readings I've done. Okay, this is Kane. He is my very large black baby. Very sweet. Yes, he wanted to say hello. So he has come in to mess up all your cards. All right, let's see what we get from the romance angels. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So you may release your ex first, of course, but you may want to open yourself up to giving something a chance. Pay attention to the red flags. If it's a red flag for you and this person doesn't want what you want, it's important that you focus on that. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So it may be that it feels a little uncomfortable because they're different, but if somebody doesn't want the same things that you want, then clearly you need to hear that person. 
All right, singles. I'm going to get a couple of cards for you. Let's see what's going on for my Aries singles. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords. For some of you, it's a little exhausting, maybe a little bit lonely right now and sad, but uh, the High Priestess, see, they're saying trust, just follow your intuition because if there has been sadness or you've been feeling a little bit flustered or just overwhelmed, you're gonna get past that. There's a lot that's happening for you. There's that Wheel of Fortune again in the upright. So something is changing and something good is coming. So don't stress because things are definitely going to work out for you. The three of pentacles, there's going to be, hmm, interesting. You could end up meeting someone through your work environment or through friends. This is definitely a collaborative effort, meaning you could be set up on a date with somebody that a friend knows. So just be open to what might come through. All right, let's get a couple of cards from the Lover's Oracle. So we have playfulness, laughter is the best therapy, have some fun together, and remember love is the greatest healer. So try to be open to having as much fun as possible. Even if you don't have somebody and maybe you're just meeting someone, be that is really what it's about, is trying to be as playful as you can. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love, no doubt. But still, I think there's there really isn't a right or wrong. You have free will. But just you're going to be choosing wiser and paying attention to your intuition is so incredibly important at this point because you don't want to allow things from the past to repeat. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims it simply allows. So there may be a need for a little bit of space to figure things out. And then we have acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. Hardest message ever. But I always say just do the best that you can to accept things where they are because it feels like energy is just going to be up and moving for you. I mean, you've got the Eight of Wands twice. There is no denying that. Seems like they want to bring in some new people. All right, so we have all that glitters. Something really, really shiny and pretty is going to come in, and this isn't a bad sign. It's not that all that glitters isn't gold message. It is really about things are going to look much happier, much shinier this month. So look out for the 16th of February. You could be born on the 16th, the 1st, the 6th, or the 7th of the month. And then we have thinker. See, to me, fours always mean a financial abundance. Now you could be thinking about this or what you want to create and how you want to make money. That could be important. So definitely allow yourself to dream a little bit this month. Peace. Mm, I love that because that's what I feel like is being brought into your experience at this time. You could be 23, born on the 2nd, the 3rd, or the 5th of the month. Allow yourself to feel as much peace as possible. That's what they're trying to bring in for you. So 13, you could be born on the 13th, 1st, 3rd, or 4th. This fork in the road, absolutely, you have choices all the time. Like we're always told, you have that free will. And if the, a fork in the road comes up, you're going to have a decision to make. And I feel like you're going to be choosing you no matter what the circumstances are and what is best for you. But pay attention to seeing 13 on interesting, like in interesting places, weird places. I just saw a bus. So you may be seeing 13 on a bus. All right. Last card we're going to get is, and they had me go to this one. So I'm going to take the one that they showed me, which is Zakata Timing. Timing is absolutely everything. And this is the right time. So you could be 28, born on the 28th, the 2nd, the 8th, or the 10th. So I'm going to get the message for you for the cicada. What number is that again? 28. Okay. There we go. Cicada. Cicada seems to remind us to be in tune with our internal timing. Its song invites us to be aware of the cycles throughout our life and to trust in divine timing, knowing that the universe has heard our request and all will be manifested at the exact right time. Remember I said earlier with the judgment card that your prayers have been heard? The Zakata asks you to set clear intentions so that you vib your vibrational request will return love and abundance in perfect timing. Divine timing, trust the process, and set clear intentions. So that's important for this month. I think you've already done most of that and set some pretty clear intentions. Things are going to start moving. 
All right, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so much for being here. Please hit that like button on the way out, if you will, and leave me a message if you feel so inclined. And if you'd like a personal reading, as I mentioned before, that information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Have an amazing month and I will see you guys in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.